a terrible discovery in the woods of New Hampshire. In 1988, just 15 miles away from Bear Brook State Park, police were called to the scene of a murder. A woman, seven months pregnant, had been stabbed and strangled. This time, police solved the mystery. They tracked the killers and got them to confess. Anyway, we got there, she struggled. Jason drove the knife in her back. Stabbed her again. I choked her. She fell to the ground. How many times did you stab her? All right. <laughs> but what if it was all a lie? Coming February 20th from New Hampshire Public Radio, Bear Brook, Season 2, A True Crime Story. I'm Jason Moon. A story about a man who's been in prison for more than three decades because of what he said to police as a 19-year-old. A story about the power of words on tape. There were going to be continued and repeated attacks that the police coerced, intimidated, promised, threatened. Mothers will do whatever they have to do to try to protect the kids. A story about what happens when an official narrative is challenged by new storytellers. Our story can change. Their story just won't. These convictions take on this mythical power. Once this conviction happens, it's like that story is what happened. Jason Carroll is where he belongs, where he deserves to be, and he needs to stay there. He took away my mother's life, my life. You're screaming at the top of your lungs that, you know, you didn't do something. Um, and it's almost as if the world can't hear you. I am tired of being looked at like um, some kind of animal. A story about the line separating what we used to believe from what we now know. People really have a hard time understanding why would you confess to something that you didn't commit? Why would you confess to something as horrible as a rape or a murder if you didn't actually do that? What are you? <laughs> I need to stop for a second. <laughs> After 35 years, is it still possible to get to the truth? And who gets to tell it? That's all on the new season of Bear Brook, a true crime story. We can't be satisfied anymore. We can't be satisfied with the endings. <laughs> <laughs>